what's up YouTube uh, this is my 2019 pilot I'm gonna put the mud flaps on comes in a kit with some screws and these little uh, God, I don't know what the hell they're called but it's for the screws to catch them on the back so you can tighten them in so I put the ones on the driver's side already that's what they look like So, I wanted to put one side on first so I can figure it out how to do it so I don't look like such an idiot when I'm trying to do it. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove these two screws. It comes with the, the kit here. They give you extra additional screws, but you're going to need these guys, which fits one fits here like so that's for the screw to catch on and the other one's gonna go on the back side Ow, fuck. of this so what this is gonna end up being is you're gonna remove these two screws here and this is gonna sit up like that hard to do this well you got one hand like so and then it's gonna underneath here you see where this hole is that's where this tab here it's gonna fit over and then you're gonna run the screw in in up here just like here so let me pull that apart and put that on So the tools you're going to need is one of these guys, a little stubby. So you put this on like so. the spare screws put one here get this thing up here That was more painful than it had to be. So, put all your screws in. And don't tighten them all the way yet. So, this guy underneath here. So if you look at this, it's one side that sticks out and one side that receives. Make sure this side's down.
so like that. You take your little stubby and tighten that down. And now you can tighten up everything else. Tighten it snug, and that's it. All right, so this is the front part. I forgot to add earlier, you need one of these little stubbies. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but the uh, the front's a lot easier. You, you, um, if you have a drill, get it because that'll make your life a lot easier. I made the mistake earlier thinking. I was wondering why they made these holes so small because I thought you pop these out and put them in here and, and it, it fits like that. It's a lot easier than back. It's only just these three, but it's a little bit more flimsy because there's nothing back here to grab it up onto underneath the car. There's a tab here and I don't know why they didn't make a tab to fit, you know, fit on that, but, you know, whatever. But um, there's two, two bolts here and these are just some plastic inserts. And I, I thought, I actually popped these out and thought that they went in here and went in there, but it doesn't work that way. So all you actually have to do is remove this screw here, but they give you the, that's why they give you all the extra screws because these guys are actually going to go right here. Yeah, you drill them, you drill it right in the center. Just start it with the drill. So you do need a drill for the front like that just to get it up get it open well, actually you don't even have to you, know, you, just, you just push it and it goes right through so you actually can just push it with enough force and it'll puncture through it i didn't realize it was that shallow but you just get it started i try to get it started like so So you go behind it, never, anything that's plastic, especially plastic on plastic, don't ram it with the drill. Just snug it up with the drill and then hand tighten it the rest of the way so you know that you, you won't pop, you won't strip the plastic insert and that's it. Easy peasy.